guy is chasing me with his spear. Hey, that was not a fun experience. What's up guys, it's your boy Benny. Libs like to say that they really like the civil rights movement, that they care about equality or equity, and that MLK is one of their heroes. And MLK famously said, I don't care about the color of your skin, I care about the content of your characters. I want my kids not to be judged by the color of their skin. All men are created equal kind of stuff, right? So if it's wrong this way, it's wrong this way. And the problem is that libs these days are right back to where they started as racist. Liberals have always been the racist in society. The KKK was founded to go after free blacks and Republicans. Go check out their founding charter. All of the segregationist policies, Brown versus Board of Education, this was all done by Democrat governors in the South. Democrats fought a civil war in order to keep their racist tautology in order. They have always been for eugenics. They have always believed that race was the key divider among all of the peoples. And yet, it is Democrats who are the ones who will freak out when I show you the image I'm about to show you. Check this out. Here is the beauty who just won Miss Zimbabwe. Miss Brooke Jackson. Oh yeah, baby. This is Brooke Jackson. Brooke, Brooke Jackson, I think is her uh, actual given Christian name. Miss Universe Zimbabwe crowned 2023 just moments ago. That's right. Check it out. Here's her little crowning. This is Brooke Jackson, a historic moment winning Miss Universe Zimbabwe. Miss Universe Zimbabwe 2023 to represent us in El Salvador. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's make some noise for contestant number 12. There you go, she gets the crown and everything. I'm expecting better excitement from that. And congratulations, group. The judges have made their choice. So here are photos of Miss Brooke Brooke Jackson. Hey. What can she say? What can you say? She's stunning. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, she's from Zimbabwe. How could Zimbabwe crown a white person? Well, to that, I say over here at Wikipedia, Zimbabwe, according to its 2012 census report, is 99.7% of African origin. The majority of people uh, comprise of these two tribes, and then the rest of the, like, 0.03% uh, are of a bunch of other different uh, minority ethnic groups, which is white Zimbabweans, which make up less than 1% of the population. White Zimbabweans are mostly of British origin, but there are also Afrikaner, Greek, Portuguese, French, and Dutch communities. So what you're seeing here is a minority group uh, make historic strides in an overwhelming population uh, of in, in, in a population where they are overwhelmingly uh, uh, outnumbered. So you'd assume that based on the virtues and value systems of the modern left that they would be celebrating this, right? Here is a minority, a, a very, very small, uh, somebody representing a very small minority of people in the nation of Zimbabwe winning and going on to represent the country. Shouldn't that be something uh, that causes great joy amongst the peoples? Uh, nope. Libs are losing their damn minds. So much so that Miss Zimbabwe had to create a video, had to make a video explaining herself. This minority, very infinitesimal minority inside of the population of Zimbabwe, is having to uh, effectively defend her skin color and her crown before she goes and defends her crown. 
at the actual Miss Universe pageant. In Zimbabwe, I am Brooke Brooke Jackson and I am a 21 year old beauty therapist working and living in Harare metropolitan province. My passions are all things beauty, fashion and just getting to know people on an individual basis. 65% of women in Zimbabwe currently work in the informal sector and therefore I am advocating for the formalization of the informal market. I would like to work hand in hand with investors and the Ministry of Commerce to just improve the livelihoods of these women and create a national market program. Thank you so much. This sounds like this sounds like this sounds like she has like a, a good heart, and she wants to help break, lift women up in this society. White woman just won Miss Universe pageant in Zimbabwe, and all the media are in an uproar, calling her a colonizer and a racist. Why isn't it a problem when the entire men's soccer team in France is black? Miss Universe Spain named a black woman to be their queen. If those aren't problems, neither is a white woman winning in Zimbabwe. Again, th th shouldn't everyone be celebrating this? She's an unrepresented minority inside of that country. Well, they'd certainly do separate, celebrate when first black woman crowned as Miss Ireland. First time in the pageant's 74-year history. You want to know, like, black people in Ireland are effectively like the same percentage of the population as white people in Zimbabwe, right? So everyone cheered at this moment, this historic moment. Pamela Uba crowned Miss Ireland in 2021. First black woman. 26-year-old medical scientist hopes to become showgirls of color. It's not something that holds you back. Miss Ireland started in 1947. Uh, Yatish Arnwa was the first black Miss Israel. She was an Ethiopian Jew, just 21 years old. She's had a remarkable journey playing barefoot in an Ethiopian village to an Israeli beauty queen who's ready to shine on the world stage. Gushes CNN. Well, the vast majority of Israel is not black, but here is CNN just slobbering all over black Miss Israel. She's become the first woman of African descent to be crowned Miss Israel in the country's beauty pageant. Okay. Anybody see any problem with that? Whitney Toiloy. Toiloy. Whitney Toiloy. First black Miss Switzerland. Let me tell you something. Switzerland is not a black country. <laughs> okay. So whatever. Is what I'm saying, right? Like, you're all celebrating the fact that these minorities are becoming Miss whatever of Switzerland, Ireland, and Israel, Spain, the entire French soccer team black, but uh, somehow Miss Zimbabwe being white is like a crime against humanity. Whitney Toyolo won the Miss Switzerland. It's like a Swiss yodel there. Miss Switzerland in 2009, age of 17, youngest 16 candidates. Beauty Queen won uh, some money and stuff. Uh, she is the first woman with African ancestry to win Miss Swiss title. So it's okay when people with African ancestry win in nations that are not Africa, that's celebrated in the media, as, as I can show you. And then you can see articles like this, there are billions of them. You can see it again and again and again. All you have to do is search. They celebrate it. And so what? I, the, whatever. If you're the most beautiful person and the judges say so, well, then go for it. But you don't, you, you, but you're not celebrating when this woman wins Miss Zimbabwe? Uh, okay, maybe you're the real racist here. You ever thought about how you're the real racist? Have you ever considered that you're the racist? Has that ever crossed your mind? Maybe Zimbabwe is, like, ahead of the curve here. Maybe your hero, MLK, you should, like, listen to the words he has to say. Your, like, little fetishized uh, civil rights hero, MLK. Like, who would be happy about this? Well, <laughs> I can tell you, MLK. Color of their skin, not the content of their character. That's what the left is. I want to judge you by the color of your skin, not the content of your character. Well, thank goodness Zimbabwe has broken those racist chains of the modern day left and everyone can go uh, cry more. I think she's beautiful and I think she should have, hopefully she has like a, uh, a wonderful uh, pageant. I don't really watch these things. Not really my jam. Um, and if you're going to talk about systemic 
historic oppression here. Uh, this ain't the channel for you. Every single group of people uh, in human history has been uh, oppressed by another group of people. Uh, that's the way that the tables turn. It doesn't mean it's right. It just means it is. Live in the year 2023. Eradicate the problems that are, are existing in our society today instead of being haunted by the ghosts of the past. That's what we argue here. We also argue, and that, that's kind of what MLK argued, right? Got it. Are we canceling MLK now? Guess that's next. Uh, stop communism. That's the point. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe to do that. Good luck, Miss Zimbabwe. We're proud of you. Thank you.